This episode is brought to you by our good friends at Squarespace. Here we are at Golden West Swap Meet. I am so excited this morning. It's feeling beautiful and brisk out. Let's jump in. I, I literally cannot believe how this morning's starting. Right when we get to the Swap Meet, I see big boxes with 1994 Power Rangers plushies. All of these, look at this, check this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're missing the Yellow Ranger. I don't see the Yellow Ranger, but we got Green Ranger, Pink Ranger, Black Ranger, Blue Ranger, we even got White Ranger. It's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is the only time I ever really liked Power Rangers. I never really got into it after I kind of was getting a little too old at the time. Yes, I'm an old man. But Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, 1994, yes, including the Talking Kimberly Big Boxes. I'm looking at these and I'm super intrigued. They're all 1994, right there, 1994 Saban. They're all in really good condition. I'm talking like these are like very beautiful. The longer I look at these, the more and more I realize I have to get these. I know I'm gonna pick these up. Not only are they beautiful and in beautiful condition, they just look nice, they're big, they're bold, they're they're, they're, they're 90s, so they're 90, 94. I've said for a long time, 94 is the best year in retro. It's just a random side thought. And price for them? You're not believe the price pretty much end up paying like 20 to 25 for all of these. This is crazy. And if you know, the, the Pink Ranger is the one, her box looks a little different. She talks, she also expensive. I got to pick these up and I also had no idea the value on these things when I got them. I did not know that they are pricey. They're pretty dang pricey, especially the Talking Kimberly, but super awesome. Have to pick these up. What a beautiful piece to grab. Another booth full of color and vibrance. We got a TMNT booth. Well, it's not a TMNT booth, but it's a booth full of TMNT stuff. Ricky, what do we got over here, my friend? All right, we got Digimon for the 360. Look at this, he teed off. I think this is pretty vintage. Let me see, let me, let's, let me double check. Dude, no year, so. I'm just gonna say it's 1901. Wow. <laughs> and then I found this, uh... yo, that's actually sick. Right? I like, she. I like that, Ricky. Dude. I like it. And over here, I'm kind of poking around. Ooh, these are nice. I love these so much. There's so many different Ninja Turtle lines on this table, and I'm talking like newer stuff, older stuff, retro stuff, retro repop stuff, which I've talked about before, which sometimes can be confusing. But one line that I'm seeing here that I think is really cool is the street style. I've never seen these ones before. I'm sure a lot of people have, and a lot of people know about them, but I myself haven't seen them. So I'm thinking about getting this one. Uh, did I get Leo last time? Yeah, no. but it's a different variant. It's not this variant. This you go, like, you got Raph, you got Raph. No, no, I said I want. I, oh, I wanted Raph because, oh wait, I did get Raph? I, I can't Raph. remember. Oh, and you made a joke about being Donatello, but this is Leo, so I'm getting Leo, getting off three enough time, and then check these also, I've never seen these before. Check these out, Ricky. Dude. They're interesting. They're street style. You can hold them. Oh, like beautiful. Ninja Turtles, so there's, what is that, Raphael, Raphael Michelangelo, Mikey. and then April O'Neil. I've okay. never seen this one, April O'Neil, the reporter, they're interesting, they're different. I haven't seen these ones before. You see that Casey Jones? It's a nice NECA one. These NECAs are nice right here. These are really nice NECAs, my Dude, friend. Dude, look at that one. I know, these ones are a little more, but uh, I'm gonna grab the lot just because, why not? It's Ninja Turtles, you buy them. The Ninja Turtles themselves have like a little bit of swag, a little bit of groove looking in their style, so that's super rad. Uh, again, these, these repops are always beautiful. Oh, did you see this? Didn't even see that. Oh, here you go. I know it's twisted. I'm not going to touch twisted. Don't worry. And oh, then awesome. some turtles right here. I always love them. Even though they're like repops, they look so cool. This is like a beautiful one. Kaden, who we got here? Who is this? Uh, Open it up. Open it up. Let's see. What do we got? April O'Neilio. That is beautiful art right there. My goodness. An interesting fact about the Ninja Turtles is that Judith Hogue, who was cast as April, didn't really know much about the Turtles at the time she was casted. But funny enough, she was working on the set of Cadillac Man around that time, and one of her co-stars was Robin Williams, who actually helped like fill her in a little bit about the Ninja Turtles because he loved nerdy kind of stuff. I think that's super awesome. What are you buying? So you're buying it? I'm gonna go for it, see how much it is. 20 for todo? 20 for todo? I'll take it. 20 for todo! I'm looking and I like it. 
What just happened? Dude, Twisted just bought me this. Oh, that's amazing. Gambit 97, that is beautiful you know, right there. I do love me some Gambit. So, I also like Gambit, why we just <laughs> Got an itch? Try the creepy hand. It doesn't feel bad. <laughs> Ricky's like, ooh, a little harder. <laughs> get yourself, get yourself. Does it work? Oh, yeah. yeah. It can reach where my hand can't reach. The scratcher. Now available for women. <laughs> oh, hey. Mighty Max. Look at this. Look at this. Darkwing Dog. There's a team and tea. Little mini lot. What? But a good stuff. Mighty Max. Look at how beautiful this is. So little. It would be very uh, fitting that Curtis buys something so small <laughs> and hard to see. Yeah. Darn it. <laughs> I can never get away with it. Five bucks for a lot. Oh my gosh, that's actually amazing. <laughs> Mr. T's <laughs> Commandment? What the crap? I love that. The homie Alonzo is always hooking it up. Another cool TMNT item. Actually, I've never seen them in the box before, so this is super cool. From the homie Alonzo right here. Right here, let's go. This is beautiful. I love this. This is, this is going on the tree. Ho, 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 and here we go. I was in, I was ready to go 200. Just so many scores today that it's kind of unreal. Ricky walks by a booth and everything's kind of on the floor and it's a Wii with a bunch of games. And when you see a Wii 99% of the time with a bunch of games, you're getting the Just Dances, you're getting the Julian Michaels workout game, you're getting Biggest Loser, you're getting all the jank. All right, so this is just kind of here. Ricky, show me everything you're looking at right now. Right. On this. this has got the good titles. It's got Wii Sports, it's got Smash Bros, it's got Wario Shake It, it's got, I can't even remember, a bunch of good games. All, oh, it's got the Dragon Ball, the part three, the one's worth good money. I don't really care about that game though, otherwise it's just I know it's worth money. Beautiful floor. So look at this banger, Wario Land. Wario yeah. Land. Wario Party 8, Smash Bros, Wii Sports, Ooh. Sonic Riders. Ooh. Wait, look what's in there. I want this one. Barrel Blast. <laughs> That's even better. There. there you go. Uh oh, that one's empty. This one's empty. This one's got there the game. Go. It's in there. The it's game's in something game's else. Game's in I this one. That. Rampage. Yes. Yes. It's all. It's all in the. Oh, Ooh, oh, there you go. That's a goodie right here. Let's see. Yep. So that, along with these, dude. And then this. How much? Is it? How much? Eighty. I'll take it. it all day. Yeah, I think this alone. <laughs> yeah. Maybe two of these will give me that. So beautiful. Eighty bucks. You actually have to. That's a nice little deal. That's a really good deal. That's a really good deal. Ricky gets this whole bundle for 80 bucks. I mean, just a couple of these games will cover it and then he can keep the games keep the games that he wants. And I'm gonna say, if Ricky could keep one game, what's the best game out of those all those games there? I'm gonna say, it's gotta be Smash Bros. Brawl. I'm a huge Smash Bros. Brawl fan. I know a lot of people weren't super into it. A lot of people said it was really slow. I found it to be one of the more enjoyable experiences for me in Smash. Maybe it's just because I was kind of good at that one and I sucked at the N64 one, so I had a lot of fun with that one. Either way, that's one of my favorites. What are you looking at, Ricky? A 2D, uh, 2DS. Oh, it's broken too. Oh, how much for parts? Uh, 60. Or, what do you One minute. 35 each one. I mean, to fix them? Ricky, one minute. It's not bad, to be honest. <laughs> Ricky's the plushie guy. I like myself some plushies as well. So I go to a table and I'm like, cool, a Mario plushie, a Bowser Jr. plushie. Cool. How, how much for the plushies? Five bucks? That's respectable. I'll take them for five bucks. How much are the plushies? Uh-oh, I'm poor. I do notice the Super Nintendo World branding on them from Universal Studios, the new theme park in California, about a year old maybe. So I buy and I'm like, cool, this is great. Let's go, I'll show the boys. Ricky, show them what you <laughs> bought. Show them what you bought, Richard. Two, two DSs, three DS, two, two DS, two DS. He's learning. I'm but sure. both of them, they work and boot on, but the top screen doesn't work. So we know there's people who want to fix that. Ricky's gonna like these ones. I got two plushies for five bucks each. You see what they are? No. What's this? Oh, and it's Super Nintendo World. They're both Super Nintendo World. And they're really clean. So if you've noticed- That's good material. The material on the Super Nintendo World ones are way better than like, even like the original Nintendo plushies or like even newer Nintendo plushies. The Nintendo World ones, they're using this new fabric called Nintendo. And what it is, is they take fans of the Mario game that are there who get lost children at Super Nintendo World. They murder them and take their skin, dye them blue and use them for pigment to make these. 
That sounds like Disneyland, bro. It does sound like <laughs> Disneyland stuff. Yeah. When I get home, I start looking at them as I do all my stuff. I'm like, all right, let me see what I'm gonna keep. What am I gonna sell? Let me clean my items. Kind of, kind of do the do the tango I do every day. After, every time I go to the swap meet on the weekends, come home. What am I gonna sell? What am I gonna keep? I look up the Super Nintendo World plushies. They're expensive. They're like sixty dollars that they sell for all the time. I get it. The quality of them is next level for plushies. They're absolutely better quality than ninety nine percent of plushies I've ever held. So I get that. Was not expecting that. Super cool plushies. Not gonna lie, they kind of were bought originally with the idea of keeping them, putting them around like the podcast. Saw the value. I don't need seventy, sixty dollar plushies. <laughs> They're going bye bye. It's hard to handle. That. Lewis, do you approve no, of that? Do you approve of this behavior? <laughs> do you approve of this behavior? Ban. 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 What is that though? Dude, it's a little blow up punching uh, bag. Punching bag That's sick. Five bucks. Curtis bought it because it reminds him of how we treat him on the show a punching bag. <laughs> 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 oh, too good. We're walking with Ricky to Boogie's car. Our friend Boogie, we've bought a lot of stuff off him before. And Ricky's like, hey, I'm doing a deal with Boogie. We got to go to his car. You're not going to believe it. I got some cool stuff. And I'm like, all right, let's go see what it is. All right, so apparently Ricky right now has a deal going on with our homie Boogie, who we bought many times from. I don't know what yet, but I think he's spending like a thousand bucks. So we'll have to see what it is. It's, I'm hoping it's, uh, I'm hoping it's some more uncommon stuff. But either way, maybe it's just a lot of stuff that equals good value. So Boogie always gives good deals. So I'm very curious to see what it is. So what's happening? What are you buying? I told him you're buying stuff from Boogie, but what is it? So we're buying some, it's a CIB Nintendo, not just any Nintendo. I'll show you guys when, when we get there, but a sweet one. Some NES games, N64, Wii, and it's just a, a lot of random, random games. I love Boogie, it. Oh, there's some GameCube stuff in there too. Boogie, are you ripping them off? Yes. Good, let's go. That's what I'm talking about, let's go. Ooh, baby, you're nice and tight. A little tight right here. Is that box too? Oh shoot! Here, let's go on this side. Or actually, maybe in front of the car so people don't think we're leaving. <laughs> Did you see that? I just went like this, Ben. Look, I went like this. There's nothing there. That's awesome, man. Don't open it. Don't get excited yet. That's the box, huh? We get to Boogie's car. We start pulling out some of the stuff. Tight parking spot, by the way. We start pulling out some of the stuff, and right there, the Super Mario 3 challenge set. Here we go. Let's see. I'm pretty sure this is the banger. Oh, yes. Ooh, it's the Mario 3 one. Sheesh. Dang. Sheesh. Here, I'll hold it up so you can slide it out. Here you go, Ricky. That's what she said. <laughs> and this thing is looking beautiful. It's looking near mint. This is, might be one of the, I know I've said it before in some other NESs, but the, as far as the challenge set Super Mario 3 box goes, best looking one I've ever seen in person ever in my entire life. Oh, oh look at yeah. that. Oh, heck yeah. Dang. Shit. Little Samson's in here? No, but honestly, <laughs> so look at the condition. This is what we've been talking about recently a lot on the show is condition with old paperwork, cardboard, any of that. And look at that. That is Beautiful condition. Holy moly. Nice job, Ricky. Can you charge him six grand just for this box? Yeah. What? Good, nice. <laughs> also, did you know that the Castle Islands in World 3 resemble the islands of Japan? The castle itself is geographically placed where Nintendo headquarters is located in Japan. And then after the challenge set, we just start going through box, this big giant box full of stuff. And I'm looking at like, okay, what's in here? Is this gonna be cool stuff? And immediately I notice one of my favorite things when going through a big box of stuff is when the majority is retro. Now it's not only retro, there is some newer stuff, but 98% of this stuff is all retro. Let's see. Watch out, Twister. Here we go. Ooh. We got some Super Mario Sunshine. That's actually a great game, Captain America. Ricky, second, ti second time buying this today. Oh yeah, wait, for the Wii. They, ooh, I didn't even know there was two of them. Cool. We got some Twilight Princess, one of the best games I like. Dark Cloud. Masters. <laughs> Halo 3. Dude, wow. look at all this, it's just N64 games. Dang, what guys. I mean, I mean, let's see, man. I mean, that's what we're here to do. We're here to show ooh, the people, there's bro. There's some gold cards down there. Okay, I oh. see gold. Time Crisis and Final Fantasy Tactics. 
Ooh, dude, didn't you just sell this? Oh no, I just sold the manual. Manual. Ah, oh, I thought you were going to do that. <laughs> Ricky's cousin's here, Emmanuel. No. Here you go, here's some of the gold cards. Both Zeldas right here. 24 karat gold, in case you didn't know. Um, in 1984, when Shigeru Hiyamasha designed these, he would kill children that had gold fillings and use the fillings to make the actual molds for these cases. What? Yeah. We got Nintendo games, we got N64 games, we even got some Wii games. This is all good stuff. Boogie has them like all inside of little packages or in cases. Everything's looking good, and I gotta say, if you'd have told me as a kid that I'd be just handling video games this often, this much, I wouldn't have believed you. Only on Sega. <laughs> What's Harvest this shirt though? Ooh. Ready? It's gonna be Pokemon. Got a Poke. Ah, dude, you know that is? No. Fossil Fighters. Fossil Fighters, you know the game? Yeah, by Nintendo DS. I knew it, it set it up to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dude, remember this? This is actually a banger. <laughs> no, that is. Firefighter FD. FD. What are all these? Oh, let's just see a few of these right here. Wow. You got some DuckTales, Tetris, some Goonies, two. Double Dragon 3. What are, what are some of, look at Kirby's? That's one of my favorite games out there. That's a great Isn't game. The Dreamland? That's a really good game. That's a really good game. Oh what's going on back there? What's the N64's, Ben? Oh. I love how he just goes right past. Cruising World. Okay. XG2. Okay. Army Air Combat. Combat. Ooh, Ninja Gaiden 2. There's multiple copies of Ninja Gaiden 2. And they're all in plastic. Wow. Dude, this, Dang. Seriously, the plastic alone is. Dang, Ricky putting up some money, bro. I like it, Ricky. I love it. Shimo mo nino mo nino mo gayo. Oh, haunting! Hey, this is a good game. Yeah. Super good game. Haunting starring Poltergeist. Great game, expensive game, but horrible cover art. I mean, just Mega, Mega, Mega Man, Man Four, Mega Man Three, Battle Mega Man Two. Oh, <laughs> Battle Toads. Oh, I see three. I see three. I see Manhattan Project and Kirby's Adventure. Ready? Boom. Sheesh. Right there. Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus. Wow. This is a banger, bro. This is a good line. Good for you, dude. Thank you. Why don't you tell me about it? It's a Game Boy game. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Ooh. Ah. GTA. Ooh. Ooh. Now, I will say, still, to this day, best cartridge of all time, NES. Best games of all time, Super Nintendo, but best cartridges themselves, something about those rectangular square wonders of plastic, I love them. Doing everything I can, do it all to what I am. I'm a Superman. Here I am. <laughs> Let me see. What is it, Scooby Doo? Buy it, Curtis. This is so from Fruity Pebbles. What? Surf and Fred. This is amazing, by the way. But it's from Fruity Pebbles, like branded. Also X Men. What else we got? Any other goodies in here? Just those two. Ah, these are like cool, but not super cool. Even though I used to watch them as a kid. I'll have to buy these two though. Definitely have to buy these two. Let's see. So much color and beauty. I know there's going to be something good. Let's see. Fifle. Fifle goes west, but broken. Fifle went straight into this. What else we got? Ready? This is going to be a great one. Oh, dude. That's actually awesome. Riggy. Rocky OJ. I want Rocky Balboa, bro. Oh, I see the Taz right there. That's always a, oh, some WCWs over there. Some Cabbage Patch. Oh, and a bunch of action figures right there as well. All right, let me keep poking a little bit. Look at these, all the Dick Tracy mobiles. You got oh, two of these and two of those, and he got the little ones. These are actually really cool. I'm gonna check on these too as well. I don't know what to think about this. Do you know about this? But you're young, do you know what this is? So this is a very famous, very famous football player who very famously got away with murdering her. <laughs> uh, what do I say? <laughs> what do I say? So Caden, our homie, by the way, just bought a WCW NWO talking portrait with Hulk Hogan, Hollywood Hogan, which is awesome. And then a vintage, show him this, he got a vintage Dude, Mighty Ducks mean, towel. These towels actually go for it. Yeah, that's a good score right there. That's awesome, dude. Vintage, let's go. Darth Vader stuff. There's something about seeing Darth Vader stuff is such a, a cool a cool vibe. It is Darth Vader. Look at all this Darth Vader stuff. So obviously the locker they bought was full of Darth Vader people. You got the Darth Vader power talker voice changing mask from 1995. 
You have some collectible Darth Vader there. You got the collector timepiece. Looks like a Pez to me, but I guess it's a, a watch of some sort. But it almost looked like a Pez from the side. Then you got, ooh, these were empty. I actually saw these earlier. There's no games inside. Oh, that was not what I was <laughs> expecting. That looked super cool. Oh, look, Ricky, he's got you, bro. You're hooked up, bro, ready? He's like the ultimate cool. Is, is he the coolest Star Wars character, though? I would say it's between Darth Vader, Darth Maul, and, well, actually, I know my favorite. The best is Darth, is not Darth, Grievous. General Grievous, he's too cool. In a world when the native man must fight for survival, the Ricky, oh, 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 my God. <laughs> bro. I tried to milk his turkey. <laughs> you achieved that very well. Yo. I never buy DS's, I know you do. I'm not a and DS guy. Uh, you looking at buying it? That was good, I was gonna see. Oh, I, did. I was gonna buy this, but I was gonna bundle it up. That, dude, that shirt is. A banger. Dude, that's I a want you. <laughs> it just smells a little bit. Let's see, show it. Oh, yeah? yeah. yeah. That thing's beautiful, oh, too. Yeah. Anna, right here. Like a 20 times. It's a good size. Too, Anna, right? the oh, Ricky's buying this. This is I love, so I don't know if you've noticed, I've been wearing shirts like this recently. Dude, it's really nice. I love baseball style shirts. This color on this too is just so pretty. I love it, dude. Great job, Ricky. You know who number 42 is though? Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson, indeed. May the force be with you, because Ricky just bought it. That's a banger right there. That's Single sense. Let's read it. I want you for the imperial forces, imperial, travel to the exotic, distant galaxies, Meet a wretched hive of scum. That's what we tell people when they come to watch the show. <laughs> That's exactly and what we And disintegrate them. And here you go. Single stitch. Single. XL. Beautiful. Nice, Ricky. I don't know. It's great. It's great. It's great. Give me your like, one guy. The okay. What's his name? Oh, God. Sebulba. Uh, mm -hmm. Or whatever his name is. Lenny. I can't even do it right now. <laughs> it sounded good, actually. It did? Yeah. A PS2 Slim. I find a PS2 Slim sitting there with games, complete, all OEM cables, and I'm like, all right, I wanna get myself a PS2 Slim. Shh, man. Debating, so, we got a PS2 Slim, check it out. And look, inside of it too, it works, go works. Obviously we can't test it. Turok Evolution, two memory cards, uh, two controllers right here. And then what the heck is this? Is it the PSI or whatever it's called? I think that's a PS4 thing. Oh, hello. I know you like the, the Looney Tunes. Oh, Ricky is a Looney Tune. Yeah. That's Ricky. Yeah, that, that actually is really cool on Looney Tunes Zombies. Find out it's 80 bucks. Not bad at all. Oh, and I open it and there was actually Turok inside as well. But uh, with three games, Jack 2, Ratchet and Clank. Those are great Tech games. I should say it. I've been hating on PlayStation for so long. I have to come out. It's time to come out. I got a PS5. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart is one of the best games I've ever played. I've been playing the heck out of that game. Really? It's shocking me how much I love it. Dude, I woke up the other day with like things to do. And as soon as my wife left the house to take the kids to school, I was like, I got work, honey. And I was like, oh. And I played Rift Apart for a while. So, Rift? Um, Did you say Rift it's Apart? It's called a Rift Apart. And now I've said it before in the podcast. I'm not a big PlayStation guy, but I have to admit, got myself a PS5 and I have been loving Ratchet and Clank Ripped Apart. What a great game, what beautiful mechanics, what beautiful visuals. That is a perfect way to show off what your console can do. It is beautiful on all levels. I give it the PlayStation forgive me seal of approval because I, I hate it a little bit and I got hated myself. So I think I'm gonna do it. I think 80 bucks for everything. Uh, just the PS2 itself, the slim. If it works, it's worth it. Again, taking a risk, you never know. The risk is always worth the risk if you take a brisk walk down your nipples and you lick them. Ooh, Jojo liked that, look at it. <laughs> Jojo was a man who thought it was a... Look at our cards, by the way. This is unreal today, look at that. Insane. <laughs> you too. Thank you, twist kid. I don't know if this is true, but I read this online somewhere. Taking a pause once again to say thank you to one of our longest running sponsors, Squarespace, a beautiful platform on which to create your websites. One of the best features about Squarespace is the custom merch. Easily sell custom merch and create a passive income stream that engages your audience and scales your brand. Design your products and production and inventory. And get this, shipping is handled for you, saving you time, money, and effort. Oh, and you know time is valuable. Also, Squarespace extensions. With Squarespace extensions, you 
can connect your store to vetted third-party tools to extend the functionality of your website. Ooh, and member areas. Monetize your content by selling membership access to exclusive sections of your website. Okay, I, I like that a lot. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash pixel game squad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That there is actually a person that got their name legally changed to PS2. I read that, I can't confirm nor deny, but that's what I heard online. That, that, if so, you might wanna go outside. You might wanna touch some grass. Sometimes you leave the swap me and just wonder how this is one of those how days, along with the box Nintendo Mario with that Ricky got, with all of the games, with all the Ninja Turtle stuff, with all the plushies from Power Rangers, with all of the big purchases, with the plushies that were unexpected value. What a crazy day never ceases to amaze me. I'm gonna keep being humble about it and say, thank you, Lord, and move forward because I don't wanna go with my brain up here about it because you know, sometimes when you think like you're the best because you keep finding stuff, you're just gonna be like the next week and be like, now you find nothing because you got prideful. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for watching. From this